The National Museum of the American Indian is committed to advancing knowledge and understanding of native cultures from throughout the Western Hemisphere, past, present, and future. My name is Dennis Zotai. I am a cultural and communications specialist at the National Museum of the American Indian. My favorite event that actually takes place is a daily singing presentation. We have something new every time you come to our museum. Welcome to Washington, D.C. My name is Melvin Winiko. Welcome to Acoma Pueblo. We welcome everyone to come and learn the living history of Acoma Pueblo, also known as Sky City. Acoma Pueblo is considered, if anything, to be the oldest continuously inhabited community in North America, dating back to 1150 AD. So it's all about the enriched history, the preservation of our culture, our tradition, and most importantly, our Acoma language. My name is Jadwiga Zulkowski. I work here at Crazy Horse Memorial Foundation, and welcome to South Dakota. Crazy Horse Memorial Foundation was set up in 1949. We're here to preserve and protect the living heritage of the Native Americans. My dad, Horchak Zulkowski, worked at Mount Rushmore in 1939. Henry Standing Bear saw Mount Rushmore being carved. He wrote to Dad and said, would you entertain the idea of coming out and looking for a mountain to carve? Crazy Horse the Man was a great leader. He was very kind, he was very generous, as well as being a great warrior. Because Crazy Horse's reputation, the more Dad learned about it, the more he realized he was doing the right thing. The face got finished in 1998, and the arm and the hand are being finished now. It's taken a lot of years, a lot of setbacks. Now, because of the equipment and the type of men that we have working up there, we can get more done. We have this beautiful museum to help preserve the livelihood of these American Indians. When a visitor comes in, we want them to realize what the Native American people are and why they are important to our world. We are in Flagstaff, Arizona. I'm Duane Coyowina. I'm a Hopi artist from the village of Sapalavi. I am Sun Clan. For me, um, being here in Flagstaff and being close to the Hopi reservation cleared the clouds. That desire to learn my culture really peaked out and I kind of grasped onto that. Those peaks are very significant to Hopi culture to our lifestyle. We have our spiritual deities, our gods, supernatural beings that come to us. They say that they, they live up there. I think it was 2013 I did the first Hopi show here in Flagstaff at the Museum of Northern Arizona. They were starting to get my apparel in the, the museum. They want to pull in people that have never been in a museum. I paint things and draw things just as I did as, as a kid a lot of the, the bold colors. And then, of course, the backgrounds. We have a beautiful culture, a beautiful style to show people like, man, this is what this symbol means and what it's about. I wanna be able to like share our beauty, what we have with the world.